Good afternoon, class. Okay, how are you? So, this afternoon, is we will going to discuss a new topic. And our topic for this afternoon is all about water in the environment. We will going to discuss how important water and our ecosystem and our environment. So, let's start. So, water. Water is perhaps the most important component of any ecosystem. All living organisms need water to grow and survive. So water is really important because without water, we can't survive this environment, this ecosystem. So water is really the source of our, you know, that we can survive in this environment. So now let's proceed to water pollution. So water pollution is the main um, problem nowadays. You know, our um, world upgraded, upgraded into a very... Um, Hindi na natin minsan na control yung self natin, and that is why maraming ano, marami ng nasisira sa ating environment. So isa na dyan is water pollution. So water pollution can be explained in many ways. Usually it means one or more substances have built up in water to such extent that they cause problems for animals or people. So water pollution is really the number one problem for animals and people nowadays because napapabayaan na natin and we are becoming um, irresponsible enough to take good care of our environment and isa na dyan is ang ating water so the causes and effects of water pollution so we have here the sewage or waste water so the waste from households factories or agricultural land gets discharged into rivers or lakes so we all know that this problem is really i know it's really common kasi yung mga basura yung mga waste ng factories or agricultural land is doon natatapon yung kanilang mga waste sa dagat and that is a very wrong move at hindi pa rin ano hindi pa rin naagapan or nakakitaan na, ng ano kung paano ito you know mawawala na talaga and to save our mother earth so the waste water waste from the household like for example yung mga squatter area diba they live and like rivers or near the ocean and minsan yung mga basura nila is tinatapon ng nila yan sa dagat and that is so very sad and then we have dumping and oil pollution of course isa na dyan yung pagtatapon ng mga basura sa dagat and look at this picture this picture is Nung natapos yung, ano, some sort of Rio Olympics, if I'm not wrong, class. So, after nung Olympics, ito yung nakuha nilang mga basura. So, it's really irresponsible, hindi marunong magtapon ng kanilang mga basura sa tamang basurahan. And it's really sad because it's destroying our water and our water is our main source of 
surviving. And of course, we have what are the effects of water pollution on us or the animals. So, the effects of water pollution can be catastrophic depending on the kind of chemicals, concentrations of the pollutants, and where they are polluted. So, it's really catastrophic. So, the main problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on these water bodies. Dead fish, crabs, birds, seagulls, dolphins, and many other animals often wind up on beaches killed by pollutants in their habitat. So, isa na dito ang naninirahan ng mga animals sa sea. So, we have fish, you know, crabs, all living things, organism na naninirahan sa dagat. Talagang, the problem is the water pollution because pollution disrupt the natural food chain as well. Pollutants such as lead and cadmium are eaten by tiny animals. So, lead and cadmium are chemicals na nakakain ng tiny animals or tiny fishes. So, later, these animals are consumed by fish and shellfish and the food chain continues to be disrupted at all higher levels. So, if nakain ng small fish yung chemicals at kinain naman ng sa, ano, shellfish yung tiny fish and then makukuha ng ano, fisherman at masasell sa market. So, it's really a problem kasi it can ano, cause uh, deceased to us. So, bumabalik kung talaga yung ating ginagawa sa ating ecosystem. And, so, how to prevent this kind of problem? So, this, so, we have here how to preventive, um, we have here our preventive measures or how to prevent the water pollution. So, these little things can help, you know, ease the water pollution and help those animals that live in the water na, you know, hindi na sila masyadong namamatay and hindi na masyadong marami yung basura. So, number one, we have do not dispose your garbage in rivers. So, this is very important sa naninirahan sa mga squatter area or yung naliligo sa mga rivers. So, we should be responsible. All your garbage must be thrown sa trash bin or you can carry it if uwi kayo sa bahay nyo, doon nyo itapon in a proper way. So, do not dispose your garbage in rivers. Don't throw your garbage in rivers. Number two, Clean up rivers that have a lot of trash. So, isa na dito yung magbayanihan or cleaning the area of the beaches. Yung merong ano, like grupo, diba sila. So, they clean up rivers that have a lot of trash. And it's really helpful and it can really benefit the ocean and the animals that live in the water and also number three follow all water laws and regulation if for example if maliligo tayo sa dagat they have their ano, rules that do not throw your garbage do not throw your ano your cellophane or any like trash na makasira sa water or ocean so, that is why we should follow those ano, regulations and law. Uh, na isa na din ang makatulong yan to prevent the water pollution. And number four, always dispose of pesticides and other harsh chemicals. Dispose it in a proper way. Do not dispose it or throw in the rivers or ocean because, sorry, 
because pesticides and chemicals are really the worst na mapupunta sa dagat because it really can ruin and kill fishes and many many living organisms that lived in water and then we have the last one throw your garbage in the trash bin as simple as that if you are a student if nandun ka sa school mo you should throw your garbage in the trash bin or if you are in your houses meron tayong mga trash bin di ba you can throw that in there and then if we are walking around you should put your garbage or like wrapper of your candy wrapper of your food in your pockets or you can put it in your bag do not throw it like and you know it throw ni ila ano itapon mo sa gilid gilid so it's really not helpful for us and as well as the animals that lived in the eco system so always always remember class that healthy rivers or ocean carry waters to homes, farms, schools, and businesses. Along the way, they nourish entire ecosystems and provide important habitat for native plants and animals. Water for the environment is an important tool to ensure these natural systems survive and thrive for the benefit of all. So always remember that if we have healthy rivers, or water, it can ano, prevent us from getting sick, you know, and it can nourish the entire ecosystem and provide important habitat for our plants and animals. So, always remember that, class. So, that's all for this afternoon. Thank you, and take good care and also important reminder i already posted your ano your quiz for this topic and it is an essay so just check out and our google classroom okay okay thank you bye bye